baggage. Look at these Hebrew Israelites. We out here on these highways and byways. First and foremost, we're gonna say all praise be to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Yep, all praise to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Double honors to our elders of Great Millstone. Double honors to the elders of GMS. Hey, and Barack and Thumb, all you auctions out there that's pushing this word of truth and sincerity, man. Yep. Salute you, brothers, on the highways and byways, pushing this truth and sincerity and the strength of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Hey, man, we out here to wake up the, uh, the lake of the 12 tribes of Israel. We got Judah, the so-called Negroes, Levi, the so-called Haitians, Benjamin, the so-called uh, Jamaicans, the West Indians. Uh, we got Ephraim, the so-called Puerto Ricans. We got uh, Simeon, the so-called Dominicans. Hey, we got Gad, the so-called North American Indians. We got Reuben, the so-called Seminole. Issachar, the so-called Mexican Indians. Zebulon, Guatemala, to Panama. Uh, we got Naphtali, Argentina to Chile. Hey, we got Asher, uh, Colombia to Uruguay. And we got Manasseh, so-called Cubans, right? And these are the 12 tribes of Israel, man. Who the, who the, who the Lord, Yahweh Shai, is coming back to redeem, man. Our big brother, man. We got Ruben and Simon. Yeah, I got to do that. Yeah, yeah. It's coming back to redeem us, man. Yahweh Shai, man. Dark-skinned man, man, so-called Negro man, dark skin, coming back to redeem one-third of the elect of Israel, man. And that's who he come for. And he on his way back. And when he come back, it ain't gonna be pretty, man. Uh, Luke 12 and 47. Because a lot of you think, man, the Lord, he gonna come back handing out roses and daisies, man. Talking about, you know, come follow me, brother. We're gonna sit down and sup together, man. The Lord divide these nations, man. He only come for the nation of Israel, man. The elect of the nation of Israel. He coming back to destroy when he come back. Alright. This is Luke 12 and 47. Let me get up and go.
what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Darkness and not light. When you think of darkness, you think of something evil. You equivocate that with being something evil. And it's death. Turn around, go back through that light right there. Uh -huh. Go through that second light and make a right. Thank you. Yes. What did you say, Satan, before we were interrupted by two thirds? Satan uh, always got to jump on these damn niggas, man. Anytime, anytime, anytime it's darkness, that means it's death, man. That means death is coming. That would let you know, the day of the Lord, it's going to be a lot of death. It's going to be a lot of people put to death, man. You know? Yeah, this, uh, this, uh, Isaiah 5 and 19, they say, let him make speed and haste, haste his work, that we may see it and let the counsel of the Holy One of Israel draw nigh and come that we may know it. See, and we, we hasten the day of the Lord, man. We, 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 we send prayers up that the Lord speed this thing up. You don't got to use the that we in in America. Yo, this that, is, that's a lot of also just talking about uh, that, that, that when uh, the people that desire the day of the Lord, right. they saying, just like we were saying, what what does that have to do with you when you're not keeping you ain't keeping the, uh, the laws? Yeah, you ain't yeah. keeping the commandments. Okay. And I'm gonna read this again so you can okay. catch it. It says, uh, this talking about the people that they want they want the counsel of the Lord to draw near. But like this is saying, this is this Isaiah 5 and 19. That say, let let him make speed and haste his work. Hasten his work that we may see it and let the counsel of the Holy One of Israel draw nigh and come that we may know it. So the day of the Lord is darkness. So the two thirds running around in these churches saying praise the Lord, but they don't know his counsel. You see, they don't really know his counsel. And just like we read in Amos uh, 5 and uh, Five and uh, eighteen, the words say, "Woe unto you that that desire the day of the Lord." To what end is it for you? So that's what the scriptures are saying. You 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 desire the day of the Lord. You want to see His counsel, but it's destruction to you because you're not doing what the Heavenly Father asked you to do. And they think they know the Lord. Mm -hmm. That's what the scriptures say. Isaiah, His thoughts are not your thoughts, man. Yep. His ways are not your ways. Cause his ways are going, like the scripture said, gonna be dark. It's gonna be famine. It's gonna be pestilence. Hey, it's gonna be disease. Hey, man, it's just gonna be uh, sedition among men. Yeah, uh, ever second, ever yeah. fifteen. Yeah, it's gonna be all that, man. So, like scripture say, woe to you to desire the day of the Lord, man. law even during the time when Esau implemented that chip uh, even during the time of the destruction that's Jacob's trouble the Negro Latinos and Native Americans okay all right 